Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. Today we got this Echo, the PB300E, the power blower. It's an old backpack blower and uh, it was given to me. Not sure if it's going to run. I was told it'd run, but it would fire and quit. Uh, we looked at the gas in it yesterday, uh, starting to look like varnish. So, and I do know the throttle is uh, is stuck on it. It doesn't move. So, what we're going to do is we're going to dribble a little gas down in the car or down into the uh, cylinder head. And we're going to see if it'll fire. If it'll fire, we'll continue. So stick around. Let's see if we can get this thing running. Okay, guys, again, we're outside, and I know some of this is going to be hard to see because, uh, you know, the shadows uh, may spin you around. I don't know. We'll see what we can do about that. And, of course, we've got the traffic every time I turn the camera on. So, but anyway, it's old. I don't know what year it is. Um, the story is... Uh, Ryan, my friend who gave it to me, said an old guy had it for sale, and he said he was just getting too old for it. It supposedly ran, but he don't know when. You know, Ryan don't know when the guy had it running. Uh, I put this plug in it that we we took out of the uh, out of the backpack blower we was working on yesterday. And I stuck it in here, and I looked for a spark, and it has spark in this, so I'm not sure what was going on there. What we're going to do, so I got some 50 to 1 mix here uh, from the boat. We're going to dribble a little bit of that down in the cylinder. We're going to give it a couple yanks. If it starts up, I think it will. Uh, then we'll move forward with it. We'll take this hose off so, you know, that's not going to be in our way. So, you know, it's a little beat up. It's got a little on-off switch here. Like I said, the throttle is stuck on it. Uh, like it's, it's got like three-fourths of a tank of bad gas. I'm not going to worry about it sucking anything into the carburetor right now because it's already in there, and I'm probably going to have to get inside that carburetor anyway. So... Let's put a little bit of this down in here. A couple drops should do it. And then we're going to give it a couple pulls. See if it'll start. I may have to move you. Uh, let me bring you back here. Well, I'm not sure where I want to put you. Let's try this. All right, we'll give it some choke. Let's try to start this thing. It ran. And it smells funky, too. Okay, it's got some compression. So, I'm going to get a screwdriver. Like I said, I'm sorry about the about the shadows. Ah, uh, looks like Phillips. There is one missing here. I noticed that yesterday. Should be four. There should be two down here on the bottom. Two up here on the top. So we're gonna. I'll see if I can stand on the other side. Let's let me grab a screwdriver and we'll take this snorkel off of here. First, let's get inside this thing. This is the air cleaner. Now, I mean it's dirty. But I think it can be cleaned. That needs blown out. So 
it look like in here? Not too bad. I like it a little choke. That is cute. Don't let the video fool you guys. This thing is little. It's it's a little backpack blower. Alright, so I'm gonna go get my I'm gonna go get my screwdriver. Let's take them screws out of there. Okay. Should have my wireless mic on. Okay, that one's a straight screwdriver. I just happened to bring this over because, well, it was sitting there. So it's a good thing I did. Uh, the snorkels, I mean, even if I sell it, I gotta be careful with this one because if I decide to sell this thing, it's gonna need a snorkel for someone. And this is not the one that has the throttle down here on the hand. It's, it's you know, it's over here. It comes down, it's back here. You kind of set it and forget it type of deal. Uh, the snorkels are pretty reasonable, but this backpack blower is not, you know, it's not a $100 blower by any means. So if I go, you know, putting $20 into a snorkel and, you know, rebuild kit for the carburetor and stuff like that, you know there's not going to be any money to be made so i may just keep this one myself if we can get it running properly it's beat up it's worn out people want stuff they'd rather have it running crappy but looking good than running great and looking like this i'm the guy that likes stuff to run great okay all right now this is out of our way so All right, the first thing we got to do is I got to get this gas out of here. I'm going to find something to dump this, this gas in. Then I'll show it to you. I'll show you what the gas looks like. It's pretty nasty. You really can't see down in there, I don't think. So let me get... Okay, I didn't know if I hit record. Let me get something to dump this gas in. And then, uh, this is something else here. This curve here, that's a metal bar. And this is where your back is. Wouldn't that be like into your neck? I mean, you would think that'd be turned around here. This handle comes off. Now, I've never had one of these style Echoes apart before. I've, I've never had one this old, never worked on one this old. I don't think. If I did, I darn sure don't remember it. So, let's take this off real quick. Um, I don't know what this comes off for, so I'm curious. You know, it's got knobs on it instead of screws, so it must be meant to take on and off for a reason. one yeah it's been you know there's some cracks over here by the exhaust but the heat gets to it and then you set it down it falls over and it cracks and... all right i guess that's just an extra handle i don't know let me get something put that fuel in okay guys <laughs> yeah i'm probably going to be pulling that carburetor apart we'll see yeah, pretty nasty. It's getting that, it's getting starting to get that smell, but yeah, that's, and it's supposed to look like this. So, there you go. All right, let's take a gander at this. I, I'm guessing I got to take this cover off here. I'm not sure what it takes. Uh, looks like a Phillips or straight or standard. I know I'm in your light again. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, let's see if I can get you. Yeah. Pretty dirty. But, uh, 
that won't be nothing to clean out i may get lucky and just be able to just keep putting clean fuel in it keep starting it and letting it run until it shuts off starting it letting it run until it shuts off sometimes that'll clean ourselves out we'll just have to see so uh let me get you back in the stand we'll pull this front cover off of here okay guys i got i'm trying to be bent down here a little bit to get out of your shot or to get my shadow out of your shot i should say i'm gonna start this week organizing the garage kind of missing doing some uh late night videos i know not very many people watched them i don't know why I would do them on Friday night after midnight, which was technically Saturday, but uh, I called them late night in the shop, and they just didn't, but I enjoyed it, and it is content, so I'm thinking about doing some more of those, because, man, there's a lot of times I get inspired, I'll watch a YouTube video or something, I get inspired off some something somebody's doing, and I have one like it or something I want to really get out there and do it and that's what I used to do a lot of times is just get out in the garage yeah after midnight monkey'd wake up and come out I figured you'd be out here I'd be out in the garage tinkering around messing around this is definitely gonna have to come out so Ryan just stopped by and uh, picked up his backpack blower, or his uh, handheld blower that we fixed yesterday. <laughs> Gave me a big hug. That's pretty cool. You, you're supposed to be able to look down here and see inside that tank, kind of like a little gas gauge. Of course, we'll have to see, you know, what the fuel lines look like. that was okay two screws okay, a piece of plastic yeah the heat gets these things and <clears throat> see there's cracks all along here all right here's the carburetor this is the throttle and it's not it's not locked up up here yesterday if you noticed we didn't even adjust the carburetor on that other one it just runs so good I just fired it up for him he's really impressed um, so when I move this that's supposed to move so I don't know if there's a lock on it of some sort but there's the kill switch this thing you're supposed to be able to It is moving. It's moving up here. Yeah, it is. So that was wide open. There's idle. Let's check these fuel lines. Okay, so this one's only got one on it. can't see yeah I can it's a little dirty down in there but it's not terrible so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to what is that two screws hold let's pull this tank off okay let me get well ah, it's pulling out that way I don't want it to do that let me get a pair of needle nose pliers and let's pull that line off. We'll pull the tank off and that'll get it cleaned out. Okay. We're going to hold this down with that. Lift that up. My trusty needle nose. I love these little pliers. I restored them. By restore, I mean I pulled the handles off, buffed them out, put them on the wire wheel, buffed them out with the buffer. I've been using them. See, that's this is supposed to be rubber right here it's really hard so there could be looks like it's been leaking 
not that big of a deal. I don't have one with the single. I've got one with the double, but you can use the double. You just plug the single one off, you know, the hole. There's two holes. One of them is usually smaller than the other one, but you just run that tube down through whichever one's the tightest. You just block the other one off, stick a bolt in it or whatever, a little screw. And it'll never leak again until it gets dried out again. Alright. Yeah, there's a bunch of gunk. Okay, I'm probably... What I'm going to do... Is I need to get down in here. There's a... There's like a filter. Down in the bottom of these things. And they're weighted. That way it holds the line down at the bottom. So these things will run upside down these two strokes so that's just a dust boot there let's go ahead and take it off before we lose it um, when you go taking these out when they're this stiff they, they'll never go back in and when if they do they don't go back in good so I want to see if I can pull that hose out it's pliable Let's see if I can pull that hose out of there. I got a pair of long needle nose, and I'll show you the the filter that's on the end of this thing. Okay, guys. So I got the filter out. This is the inline filter, or you know, um, as you can see, it is clogged up. I think I've got one of these. What I did was I used this this piece of wire here. Bennett what this is for this is to yeah you fish this up through a frame through the holes in the frame and you put your bolt there and this is to pull the bolt up into the frame when you're putting uh, uh, trailer hitches on that line doesn't feel too bad though it looks like it's got some clogging yeah so I'm gonna see if I got a line that'll fit this I might have uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to put it on because I really don't want to take this out, but I may have to. Because usually these will break. This little rubber grommet here will break usually. And I don't know if I got any of those. Let me go see what I got. I'm pretty sure I've got one of these. Let me go look at my stash. Let's see if we can get this thing running. Um... I'm I'm thinking that this thing did its job. It clogged up here and in the line before it got there. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, like I said, we may try to get it to clean itself out. And we'll go from there. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's get this tank cleaned out. Let me see if I got a hose. Yeah, it's pretty dirty down in there. I know I got a filter. Let me go see what I got. Okay, guys, so I do have one. It's the same style. It's a little smaller, but I think it'll work. And I have a piece of fuel line here. Now, if I can get this out without breaking it, this is what I was talking about here. Also have one of these styles. Uh, like if you get something like that, you got one of these grommets. You only need one hole. Just plug that second hole off there. Where you at? Just plug one of them off. Just put your line through the tightest one. Plug the other one off. You're good to go. Alright. So, what we're going to try to do here. I'm going to try to pop this out of here. Without breaking it. Most of the time, they will come out. It's putting them back in. That's, that's the struggle, but... We'll just see how well this goes. It's not as hardened up as I thought. It is kind of pliable. So it may be all right. All right, so. All right, this is, this is clear. So, let me, let me spray some stuff down in here and get this cleaned out. Like I said, we'll, we'll try to run it. 
and see if it'll clear itself out. I don't know, but we'll find out. Okay guys, the sun moved on us. Alright, so we're gonna just, I got this cleaned out real good. Right, we're just gonna stick this down in here. And it should go in a lot harder than that, but. Uh, now this line up here, I like that there's only one line. Hard to mess that up. Um, let me see if I can get that off of there. There it is. It's clear, but down here at the bottom, well, I guess it will fit kind of tight. I'm going to use this line. I've got more line here if I need it. But I'm kind of wanting to see how it's going to run right now. If I can get it running at all. Still may have to pull that carburetor off. It's not a really big concern of mine right at the moment. Ah, oh, yeah, that... Okay. I'm just kind of assessing it. So right now... It's not me, guys. Over there. Uh, Jerry's... Jerry's old house sold. The guy bought it and they're over there doing all kinds of work on it. I see there's a... A metal thing down here on this one. And I don't remember it coming out of it that top one there so we're just going to put this in so sorry about the noise but you know they're just trying to he's going to rent it out that's what he's going to do so they're you know working on the roof and stuff and just trying to get it ready for rental uh, I think he gave 120000 for it Seems kind of high, but it is two lots. I think ours would go around 110 probably with just this little lot, but you know, it needs nothing, so. Well, the, ba the ba battery, the bathroom could, you know, use an update, which we're gonna do sometime. But we need a, of course it needs the roof, but. All right. Now I'm going to get some fuel. This does not have a primer bulb because it's got a choke. That throttle still feels kind of... Feels like it needs more of something. <laughs> so, off camera, I'm going to go ahead and spray this down inside this lever here. Well, let's take this apart and see what's in here. Famous last words, right? Let's take this apart and see what's in here. That screwdriver's too big. This one's too small. This one will be too small. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Um, some nut on the back of it. All right, guys. Let me get a different tool here and see if I can get you moved around to a different angle. Okay, guys. There's a 10 millimeter nut on the back side of this thing. I loosened it up. I can see where the cable goes in. I'm just gonna spray it up with this WD-40 I have here. No, no sponsor. Yeah, and I'm just gonna keep messing with this, get this adjusted, because I can't see you having to pull your arm way back to do this. So I think you just kinda set it where you want it once you get it on your back and you're good to go. But I am also going to shoot some up here in the top of this cable up here. Can't hurt it. I mean, who knows? Maybe it'll, you know, maybe it'll come back to life on its own. We won't have to pull that carburetor because I don't think, I'm pretty sure I don't have diaphragms for that thing anyway, so. But maybe we can get it to run longer than just a few seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with this. Let's 
Lenny. Okay, I'm gonna mess around with this. See if I can get it working right. It feels, it still feels a little crusty down in there. So I'll do that off camera so it's not too boring. And I'll bring you back. Yeah, it's getting better. Once I get it adjusted right. All right, so that's kind of like an adjustment. That'll screw, you loosen that nut, you screw this in or out, and that, that adjusts the tension you put on there so it'll stay wherever you want it. So, got that going. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna put some fuel in this thing. We're gonna get it fired up, hopefully. <laughs> I got some fuel over here. This is the stuff I like to use, but it's a little, a little pricey, but this is just boat gas. It's 50 to one. So we're gonna fill this up. Well, as much as in the can or whatever. Just so we know it has plenty. That's almost a full tank. Okay, that'll work. And check our cap. Our cap does not look the greatest. So it's probably going to leak. Just a rubber o-ring in there. Okay, now we're going to dribble a little bit, a bit of fuel up here on top again. Who knows, maybe it'll start sucking fuel. I don't know. And I forgot my spark plug ratchet, that's all right. Now, I'm gonna move you. We're gonna put this on the ground so in case it starts up, it's not vibrating everything off the table. We'll try to start it. Okay, I'm gonna choke it. Yes, I'm gonna choke it. I don't know why most of them guys, oh, it's warm out. We don't need the choke. It's still a cold engine. You know, it's 80 degrees out. That engine's not 80 degrees. That engine has to be, you know, 160 operating temperature anyway. All right. Uh, I don't know how I can do this without getting in your way again. Let's move you over here. Screen's upside down. There we go. All right. Let's see if it'll run. Forgot to turn switch on. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Now what I'm going to do, hopefully there's not a bunch of gunk and gook up in that carburetor like there was on that fuel line, but I think I pretty much stopped it. But I'm going to keep doing this until it's about ready. And then I'll kick you back on. Let's do it one more time together. Jesus. I can't never film anywhere, guys. I understand they got to work, they got a job to do, but it's Sunday. All right, I'm just going to keep doing that, see if it'll clear itself out. Okay, guys, I am going to pull the carburetor off because I popped this line off up here. It's not sucking fuel, so I think a diaphragm's bad in there. Now, I pulled these three screws out but this one is well somebody stripped the head out on it wasn't me I don't know how you do that putting in plastic it's you know doesn't have to be that tight but they did it all right so here's the carburetor let's see there's a bunch of different settings on this carburetor all them little holes there so I'm gonna mark it uh, you can pretty much see it but I'm still gonna kind of mark it in the hole that it was in see right there so I might have a diaphragm for this flip my handy dandy tool around here and let's see 
Uh, I thought it was loose. Well, it's not very tight at all. Yeah. Hmm. So let's see. See what we got going on here. Yeah. I've had people ask me, you miss your shop? Well, I miss doing things like that, but I don't miss running a shop. You know, never have time for my own stuff and you know, so I just gave it up. Decided I'd rather have somebody pay me than me paying other people. So. Right. Oh yeah, that diaphragm's, as Terrell would say, hard as a carp. I do have a diaphragm, I do believe, that'll fit on this. So I'm going to mess with this. I'm going to get this pulled off. I'm going to try to save the gasket because I don't think I have one of those. Oh, yeah, that's... Hear that? All right. Let me get this off of here. Let me dig out what I got. Right here. Well, actually, the bag's open. There's one laying here. is the one we need all right let me see if I can save the gasket and I'll be back with you I'll probably do like I did on that other one we did not too long ago let's cut it around here and then you can pull up on it uh, sometimes you can use a razor blade just be careful don't score up your surfaces I've seen worse. I can blow through it, but I'm still going to spray that out. I don't have any carburetor cleaner, but I do have starting fluid. So I'm going to spray it out with that. Yeah, let's see how brittle that is, and it's supposed to be flippy flappy like that. I don't know what you guys are seeing. Okay. So. It might be why it wasn't sucking fuel up, it just wasn't pumping. It's like a fuel pump too, you know. And that gasket's broke right there. Uh, if it runs good, I'll, you know, I'll get a rebuild kit for this carburetor. That'll be perfect. All right, so we got what we need right here. I will save that just in case. Okay, let me go clean this out. You take this out, you got to be really careful. There's a little tiny screw in here. And it's kind of tight, so I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to make sure it's really clean and make sure I can blow through this here. Screen's upside down. I can't see what you guys are seeing. This right here. So. Let me see here. Yeah, I can blow through it, but it's not shutting off. Let me get this cleaned up. Sorry, guys, and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, so I got this pretty well cleaned out. Somebody was having issues with it running. I think it may have been flooding out because they had the high and low mixture screws only turned out a half a turn. They need to be a turn and a half to two turns anyway to at least get you started. And so what that does, it leans it out. When you turn them in, you're leaning it out. You're giving it less fuel and air mixture. And, uh, so when these things lean out, they, they'll run hot pretty easy. But I would say it was flooding out on them, so they leaned it out to take away some of the fuel. And uh, 
I would say that was when it started having issues. Not saying it wasn't running. I've I've seen them run like that, but I got this working now. So, all right. I'm going to put this back on, which really just involves screwing everything back on. What the hell are you guys looking at? Okay. Get it right here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I didn't get that screw out of there. I probably should have, but I have a feeling I may be put taking this back off again. Who knows? If I sell it. I will rebuild the carburetor but if I keep it and it's running decent I'm just gonna run it like that because it's mine you know but if I sell something it's gonna be perfect or you know if I work on something it's gonna be perfect or it's not leaving this house or this shop you know what I mean so all right there we go and I hear the neighbor behind me yelling at somebody again cussing and yelling all the time geez it gets old man you know now I'm just going to tighten these screws up and I'll put those other three back in make sure our choke works yes it does okay let me get these tightened up and we'll try to fire it up again it may take a few cranks to get this fuel to suck up you know that's that's a good ways away to go from down to bottom of the tank down here clear up into the top of here so that's what we're going to do let me get these tightened up we'll try to fire it up again hopefully it'll get warm enough i can you know it'll run long enough to where it gets warm enough to where i can set these set the low and high adjustment on it okay so this is what i got going on here this is the top one that one seems to be okay it's not the greatest uh this one's bent down so it's not working it's not doing its jobs like a couple little valves and move like that in there i do not have one of these unfortunately uh, i don't even think i've got a good used one i'll have to check but i'm going to mess around with this see if i can get them limbered up and see if I can get them to do anything okay guys so the problem is that upper diaphragm this is what it looks like this is not the one this is the used one I found which you can hear that it's no good either and it doesn't fit and I don't have any of these because there's the bag to them and I used them all so that's going to have to be a part order thing uh, the carburetor is good it's all clear out it's you know all the passages are cleared out and everything so I think I am going to order a bunch of them that's a Walbro carburetor I'm going to order a bunch of those and have them on hand uh, yeah and I think then I think we'll it'll be good to go then um, but yeah I'm gonna keep looking to see if I have one I, I really don't think I do because that was the empty pack and it's not laying in there anywhere so let me do some digging see what I can find if not you know well I'll be back with you and we'll go from there all right guys check this out I took that thing apart again I kept moving those little valves back and forth Cause you know they were pretty stiff weaken them up check this out switch
<laughs> Let's put this thing back together. Okay guys, I know the background's overexposed, but I wanna I want you guys to see something anyway. Alright, tighten the plug down. We're actually I'm gonna put the I think I'm gonna get a new one of these. Uh I'm gonna put What was I gonna say? Oh, I'm gonna put the snorkel back on it too. We'll see if it'll blow something. I think we're all buttoned up here. Everything's good and tight. Let's see. It goes like this. So I'm gonna speed you guys up. And we'll try to blow some weeds around. All right, that was uh, that was pretty funny. Uh. <laughs> I couldn't get that on. That thing was flopping around and blowing stuff everywhere. All right. Start this thing up, blow some of the stuff off of here that I just blew on here.
I didn't think it would idle. Idling fine. Cool. All right. Let me tell you what my plans are for this. Okay, guys. So, wasn't really how to. I do try to explain things and show things to you as I go along. But this wasn't really a how to get this running. It's more of we got it running. Um, so, I think I've earned myself a beer and a cigarette. I know my haters shouldn't smoke shouldn't drink well they shouldn't judge oh I'm not judging you I'm just telling you what you should and shouldn't do that's judging anyway it's not real beer anyway guys it's it's fake beer it's NA it's non alcohol but back to this thing what's the future of it am I gonna sell it yeah I'm talking like it's a you know 57 Chevy or something uh, no, I'm probably going to keep it because it's still running funny. I mean, if the straps hadn't broke, that was some funny stuff right there. Um, you know, it's usable. Uh, I didn't think it would idle there. It was idling at the end. But I still need that top where I should use that diaphragm. Now, I can buy a kit for this for like five or six bucks. But I think... Instead of just buying a kit for this one thing, I already got half the carburetor rebuilt with that new, you know, the new diaphragm on the bottom. So, um, and I'm always needing them top diaphragms with the little check valves. So I'll just buy me a pack of them because that's all I, I need for that. Uh, it's going to need straps. He said he's got some tubes for it. I don't know if they'll fit. I'm sure I can make them work. But in order, in order to get to uh, to make any money on this, I mean, I spent a couple hours on. Yeah, my time's worth money. I, I could be working on something else. But I'd I'd be lucky to get fifty dollars out of this. That's if I could clean it up and make it look halfway decent, which I don't think I can because the bottom of the the pads ripped and you know it just looks crappy. And like I said before, earlier, you know, people want stuff that look really nice. They don't care if it runs good or not. I just, you know, when I put that in my garage, I want I want it to look good. That's really all they care about. What is this, a parade? Man. I want my stuff to be functional. It's old. I mean, I've seen them online. Good looking ones. They were you know $169 asking price but the ones that are, that are in mint condition with nothing wrong with them they're only selling for like a hundred hundred and ten dollars these these ones not you know these old ones here like I said this is a what is it a PB 300 E it's an X echo yes it's a name brand but still it's a blower and it looks like crap so I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna get it running good I'll just use it around here. I'll just keep it, you know. I mean, it was free. Uh, you never know. If somebody sees it setting out and wants to make me an offer on it, you know, I'll, I'll entertain that. But, you know, like something like this, I'd rather just trade for something interesting or, you know, something I don't have or, you know, something I can make a video on. Something like that. But that that's it. I mean... Yeah, that was funny. I couldn't, I couldn't find that other strap. It was behind me. And then when I grabbed it, it just... Yeah, see, it just rotted away. You can buy these straps, but, you know, they're like 12 or 15 bucks. And, I mean, you can make a strap. You can make two straps for that thing. Um, so, no, I won't have a lot of money in it. Uh, if I would have to buy them snorkels, you know, I'll have about $15 in that. I'm not going to count the carburetor because, you know, I buy those things in bulk, you know, like 10, 20 pieces um so you know as far as the two diaphragms go i'll have maybe 25 cents in that <laughs> um you know, the plug's going to be fine i'm not going to worry about it i mostly got my time in it but still to get you know to do this and then spend a couple hours trying to clean it up and you know to make 10 or 15 bucks it's 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 not worth it uh so i'm just going to keep it hell it's free you know 
it does run good there's nothing wrong with the engine well you know what I mean it's running kind of funny because it needs carburetor work but it does run good there's no knocks in it you know it's not making any funny noises um, I did look down and bore that with my bore scope but you guys can't see that that's I've tried that before uh, so you can still see the cross hatchings and the cylinders walls you can tell it's been run but not it's not worn out the engine's not worn out by any means I think the rest of it is worn out you never know maybe I'll find one of these blown up or something with better case and stuff and I can just you know build a decent looking one who knows but yeah that's you know one of those things that was free I wouldn't have gave any money for this if somebody tried to sell it to me uh, not running I wouldn't give any money running the way it is now I wouldn't give somebody 10 or 15 bucks for it Pro I probably wouldn't even do that maybe 10 just for parts but uh, or to try to fix myself if I was going to keep it these things don't sell for a lot of money guys it's just, it's just too old so we'll, I'll just keep them you know mess around with it uh, at least that was funny. I was trying to get that. And then I felt it. And then I went to put my arm in it. It broke. Then the other one broke. I was like, I'll just carry it around. And over here, I don't know if you've seen it. <laughs> the snorkel was just flopping around like a snake blowing things all over. <coughs> Everywhere. Got the Corvette dirty. But there you guys go. Hope your year's going good so far. And, um... I, I did take the filter out of it. When I put the filter in, it was doing what we call four stroke and and uh so I think the filter is a little clogged. That's another thing. I'll have to get a filter for it too. Uh I'll try to clean that one. I did blow it out. It helped, but it wasn't right. So I just put the cover on left the filter out. Um If I keep it myself, I might not even put a filter in it for all the more I run them things. But yeah, so anyway guys, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for your support. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Hopefully you learned something. Um, try to help when I can. Sorry about the lighting, but I'm outside. We'll spend this, the re this week, this coming week, working on the shop, trying to get it cleaned out so I can do more work in there. Maybe, you know, better lighting. Um, I'm going to upgrade on lights in the garage this year. Uh, I'm going to put all the LEDs in it instead of them fluorescent ones. But, you know, then we don't have to worry about the shadows and me getting in your way and stuff. And you can see a little bit more. But anyway, guys, until next time, again, thanks for watching. Shea Bear the Myth, the Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. I'm going to pick up my stuff. Go get cleaned up and sit down for a little bit. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.